we're all ready to go. We know our cylinders are all taken care of. They're the right size. They're clean. The surfaces are perfect. We have either new pistons and new rings still with them, or we're going to reuse the old pistons if the uh, piston clearance is good. We've taken our rings. We've checked our ring gap inside here. We know that every one of those is perfect. We've installed our rings on our pistons. We've staggered them, so that's all set. Now all we have to do is put them in. Before we do that, note that I've put the letter F here. On many pistons, there will be a mark, the letter F, a little diamond, a triangle, a dimple, something right here to let you know this is the front of the piston, and this goes in the direction of the, of the timing chain on the water pump. Okay? Look for that. If your pistons have that, you have to apply to that. If your piston does not have that, you don't have to worry about it in your case. Now, with my rings on there, we put on a device called a ring compressor. This slides down over. It tightens up. And what it does is it squeezes all the rings into the grooves where they belong. The bottom of my piston is still sticking out. I put it into my cylinder. I like to use the wooden part of a wooden handle. And I give it a few taps, tap, tap, tap. I've put a little oil in here at the bottom so that these can slide in nicely. Tap, tap. And what will happen is that will go right on down where she belongs. If you feel a sudden blockage, a sudden stop, take it out, reset your rings, reset your compressor, and start again. But everything will go right down smoothly, your pistons are in, and everybody's ready to roll and start with the next step of doing our engine.